Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another OST 2357 Access 2013 tutorial. This is lesson four, create simple queries. Here's our steps. We're going to create and save a query using design view. We're going to run a query. We're going to sort the records within the query. We're going to add a criteria to a query. We're going to copy and modify a query, and then we will print the query results. So right here is how to create a query in design view. As always, like in all the other lessons, we are going to skip to the actual steps of doing it um, and see if we can't figure it out ourselves. So here we go. Drill one, create a simple query. So we need to download um, access for drill one. We've done this in every tutorial video so far. So you guys should know how to do that. Extract, change, put in the folder where you want it. Come on, get out of there. All right, go over here, file, open, browse, drill one, enable. Okay. We need to go on the Create tab. We're going to create a query. Are we using the Query Wizard? Query Design. In the Show Table box, select the Employee Table. Uh, <clears throat> Right here, employee, double click it. In the show table box, select the employee table and click add. So click and you could add or add selected table sorter. I just double clicked it. Uh, in the field list, double click the team ID field name. Brings it up down there. Will appear the first field design grid. There'll be a check marks in the box, select ascending for the sort order sort order sending so this check means that it the query is going to have this field and obviously since it's first this will be the first field in the query all right in the field list double click the last name up here in the second field box this check mark and then also ascending and then click first name and uh, it doesn't say we need to do anything there. Click the save button on the quick access bar and call it uh, team ID query one. Team ID query one and click OK. Click the run on the design tab to see the results. Click run and here's our results. We have the team ID and then we have last name sorted ascending and then first names not sorted. So you can see Smith right here that Jacob and Alice should be the other way around, right? So that's not sorted. And it didn't tell us to do that, right? In the field list, double click first name, field name, um, right? And it doesn't tell us to do anything. Results of your query will be displayed in the data sheet field. The table should look like figure four, four. Okay, so we also see that we have some missing data here that we're probably going to have to fix as well. So where was four, four, is it over here? Or two, nope, four, five, where's four, four? Um, right down here, yep, so we have three missing record IDs, ends with woo, starts with Richardson, and the numbered ones, right? So we're good there. Okay, it says close the query. 
Now we're going to add criteria to a query. These obviously are the steps to add criteria. See, so right here's a criteria field right below the show checkbox. Uh, is null, asterisk, uh, all of that kind of stuff, right? So if we wanted only uh, team four, we would put only four under team ID. If we wanted only the ones where there is no ID, like those first three records that we'd use is null. And then if we wanted uh, show only records that have data in the field. So if we didn't want to see the ones that were missing, we would use this command. All right, so drill two, use criterion query. Open access drill one, four, we've already have it open. Uh, click the create tab, click query design on the ribbon, create tab, query design, select the employees table and click add. Okay, in the field list, double click, oh, in the field list, double click team ID. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. We want to do in criteria down here. We want to do is is null. Then we want to do last name. And we want to do ascending. And then we want to do first name. Checkbox for all three. So it's going to only pull the team IDs where the IDs are blank, right? Because that's what is null means. All right. So click the save button. Save. And we are going to call this. Team ID query two. Team ID query two. And then we are going to go ahead and run it. And see, we got those three records that didn't have IDs in there the first time, right? So it looks exactly the same as this Foster, Lastly, Lastly and Sexton. So we are good. So close the query. All right, drill three, copy and modify query. <clears throat> Oops. We have the database open. Lesson three, learn to copy a table. So click once on the query ID two. And they have and select it, then click copy and then click paste. And then we are going to name this ID query three. Okay. And then open this up. Change to design view, I'm assuming. Yep, so we can just click the button for design view. Uh, it opens up by default in data sheet view, right? So design view. And in this query, we want to show only employees that have been assigned to a team. So this time we want to use the asterisk, right? So we want to sort by ascending for the IDs. Arrow under view and it does not oh, we already do that in the queries you want to show employees that in the ID field delete the current entry and key an asterisk uh just put an asterisk asterisk 
select the sending for the stored order and click save. Save and then click run. So we have team one, team two, team three, and team four. We start with Richardson and end with Wu. That matches with figure 410. Looks like we are golden. We can close that. All right. In lesson two, we learned how to print. So to print the query results, open the query you want to print in data sheet view. So let's say we wanted to just print this query. We're in data sheet view because if we we're in design view, it would look like that. Uh, <clears throat> change the zoom set. Oh, first click print and then print preview, right? So file, print, print preview. We could change the zoom if we need to. But we don't really need to because we can already see it. It says change the orientation margins and blah, 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 if you need to do that. Obviously, we don't need to do that. It all fits perfectly fine on there. And then you can just go ahead and click print, print it to whichever printer you needed to print it to. And then you could just close out of there. And that is all for that one. All right. Is it just going to tell? Uh, oh, that was just how to do it. And now we have to actually do it. So uh, close. Click query design on the create tab, select employees table and click add. All right, so we're doing another one. Design view. Oops. That's not what we want to do. We want to click employee. Create, query design, employee table. All right, double click the team ID. Not set a sort order. And then double click last name. Select the sending. Double click first name. Select it. Sending. Only for employees who live in Illinois. So we want to double click the state field. Right. And then we want to click. <clears throat> we want it to show just IL for Illinois. And that should be all we need, I think. What are we calling this one? State Illinois Query. State Illinois Query. We can run it. So it has three people that live in Illinois. New Yen, Smith, Smith, and Wu. New Yen, Smith, Smith, and Wu. Actually, I think that's just Win and Smith and Wu. So that looks good. And then, of course, we could print it if we wanted to, right? So print, print preview, zoom 100%, set the margins, whatever you needed to do. Okay, click run on the ribbon, close the query table. And then down here, of course, you can check your solutions tab again. And that is all there is to it for lesson four of the Access 2013 tutorial. We have only one lesson left, uh, lesson five. So come right back and check the next video, and you can finish up your Access tutorial. I will see you next time.